Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Monday, May 8th, and I'm Thomas Gillespie. Eight people were killed on Saturday in a mall shooting in Texas. According to CNN, the shooting also left 11 people injured. The shooter was killed on the scene by a police officer. Authorities are still trying to figure out a mot motive for the attack, but they believe the man had extremist views based on a patch he was wearing and the social media posts they uncovered. He was armed with an assault rifle and a handgun, and had additional weapons and ammunition in his car. He also had three years of firearm tra firearms training as a guard for various companies. Witness has described this as the most terrifying moment of their life. The ages of the victims ranged from five to 61 years old. Last night, we had four MLB games go into extra innings. According to MLB.com, this is the most games to go into extras in one day in this season. Going into the 10th inning of the Orioles and Braves game, they were tied at one. In the top half of the inning, the Orioles got their free runner in from the second. The Braves managed to do the same. Then in the 12th, the Braves held the Orioles scoreless and walked it off on a Michael Harris double. In the Yankees and Rays game, the Rays held the Yankees scoreless in the top half of the inning and scored their free runner on an Isaac Paredes single. In the Marlins and Cubs game, both teams managed to score their free runner in both the 10th and the 13th. In the 14th, the Marlins managed to score their free runner on a balk and then shut the Cubs down in the bottom half of the inning. In the Dodgers and Padres game, the Dodgers managed to come from behind. Down 2-1 to one in the 9th, Mookie Betts hit a solo shot to tie the game. Then in the 10th, the Dodgers would score three runs and shut the Padres down in the bottom half of the inning. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. I'm Thomas Gillespie. Today's A-Day. Have a great day.